Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Star Wars Black Series Flamethrower Trooper. Alright, so I already opened him, so I'm not going to go over the box again. Um, this guy is really cool. So I'm going to go over the accessories, so his little flamethrower gun here, which is cool, is it actually the hose plugs into the bottom of the peg of the handle. And then his little pack's detachable, so it just has these two little, uh, has one peg here and one peg there. And it just plugs on in like that, and then you just... Like I, like I showed, and just kind of plug in the little arm here. So we'll go ahead and go over the details of the accessories. Um, the tank on his back is really cool. I really like how this turned out. You can see all the little red paint right there on the different parts of the tanks. I like the little handles here that are black. You can see the little control modules right there, but they're not really painted. They're sculpted on. But overall, I think that looks really cool. I like seeing all the different tanks connecting, combining to one, then going right into the feedy, into the hose. Which has got a nice little rivets to it and it plugs in perfect into the gun I mean, it just and it snaps you hear that which is nice and so it's a nice snug fit so you don't have to worry about it detaching at all the gun itself looks great it looks so cool i like that whole black with the white you can see a little silver uh buttons right there and it's got some little bit of red detail buttons on the inside here but just the whole torch looking looks so cool looks really good but i'll go ahead and go over to the figure now I always thought that these guys were awesome looking when I saw them in the movie. I thought this looked so cool. So I really like the head, uh, the helmet look on this guy. It's a little different. I don't have the snow trooper to do a comparison with, which is kind of a bummer because that's one that kind of is it's similar to me. But overall, the paint turned out good. It's got some little blemishes here and there, but not too bad. But I like the little black slits in the eyes. It looks really cool. And it's got kind of this adult silver lining along the front here. Get a little closer for you guys. You can see another blemish right there, silver paint on the face. And it's got the more silver, like, you know, typical silver paints on the rivets here, which looks really cool. I just really like how that looks. And he's kind of a chunkier guy. He's definitely bulkier than the typical, I'll show you guys real quick. The typical Stormtrooper is a little slender, but he looks a little, I don't know if the way the belt is, but he looks a little, a little chunkier. <laughs> The armor is different, which looks cool. I really like how that looks. Um, maybe because he's dealing with a lot more heat, so he needs more protection. Probably makes more sense that way. But he's just got the same black, sleek black. I mean, sleek white armor with the black inside, inside underneath. Um, I like the little pouch here. It's all. I mean, it looks really cool. You guys can check him out. And it goes into his legs. A little strap here. But his feet are definitely different. They're a little more, they're definitely flatter than the Stormtrooper feet, which is nice, so he stands no problem. But it's really cool to have all these different troopers, you know, that kind of completely, I mean, man, if I was a Star Wars collector, like hardcore one, I'd be going insane with all those army builders. I can't imagine how much some of you guys are paying, I mean, you guys must have some crazy armies, I bet it looks awesome. But we'll go ahead and go over the articulation of my rambling, it looks up, about that far, it looks down, nice. It's left and right, and he also has the little, huh, can do a little confused look. And he's got joints in the shoulders, the little ball joints, but the armor does hinder it, so it can't go up too far. Moves forward and back. Got the single joint in the elbow, also rotation, rotation in the wrist, and he, pulls move. and he also has the hinge at the wrist, but this one goes up and down. Uh, it's got rotation in the bicep, or in the chest. Can't really go back or forth just because of this plate here, but he can swivel. Um, kick forward about that much. And he can spread his legs about that much. And he's got double jointed in the knees. Upper thigh swivel. No boot rotation. Ankles move down. They move up. He also has a nice ankle rocker. And pedals and balls on his feet. Alright, I'll show you guys how tall the flamethrower trooper is. Alright guys, so the flamethrower trooper stands right at just a little under 6 inches tall. I'll go ahead and line him up with a couple of the other troopers I have with me down here. Regular Stormtrooper. I have the First Order TIE Fighter Pilot. And we'll bring in a Shock Trooper, which I still need to review. So, it's pretty cool. I don't know. I like having all these different guys. Still have quite a few to go, but there you go, guys. There's my review on the Star Wars Black Series Flamethrower Trooper. Hope you guys liked it. Please hit the like button if you did. Uh, definitely leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great night.